New cellists always ask, how often should I rosin my bow? Well, as needed. And in this next video clip, you're going to see me try to play a song and get quite surprised and use some bad words because I am flabbergasted that a section of my bow hair doesn't have rosin on it. So let's watch it and we'll get back to reasons why and how often you should rosin your bow. There was a spot about right here that ran out of bow and it was only evident when I played a certain song and it's kind of funny because sometimes you play songs and it sounds okay but you play other songs and it doesn't because as you play the hairs here the hairs you know there's the round just like your hair so they're you know they need to have rosin on all their sides sometimes when you push down and you push either direction like so it's going to look it's going to catch a part of the hair that is not rosin enough and so when you do rosin just you know use short strokes like this I like to go to the plate time of super saturation you know short strokes will do you good at all times all the way to the tip you know, again, you don't have to do this all the time, but all the way down to the, to the, I guess we call it the frog in America. They call it the talon here, the talon. It's the baguette here in France. And that's all. You just need a rosin. And always use cello rosin. That's it. And at the end, when you're done doing that, just long strokes to smooth it out. If you want to know you put enough rosin, this will happen. You'll have a little bit of a, some smoke coming out. I don't know if you can see it on the camera, but yeah, you have a bit of smoke there. I call it rosin smoke. Anyway, that is when and how you should rosin your bow. Thanks for watching.